Let's begin by talking about what our awareness of what light is. When most of us think about light, we think about the light from the sun or a light from a light bulb or a lamp. And that is the visible rainbow spectrum of light, which I'm talking about is um, the, the colors that we see, which are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and uh, indigo. So that is a visible spectrum that we see every day and most people can see that. Now is that all what light is? Well isn't light just an electromagnetic frequency? Well it is according to science. And if you measure all the electromagnetic frequencies that are in the uni universe and compare it to just our visible spectrum of light which is from red to violet and maybe a little bit more on each side is actually if you compare what we can see compared to how much other electromagnetic frequencies there are in existence, the difference would be comparing the size of the Chrysler building versus the size of a marble. So that's right. If you think about how much light we actually perceive with our eyes, it's actually just a little tiny marble compared to a skyscraper. What other electromagnetic frequencies are there? Well, very common ones that we know about are microwaves, radio waves, and x-rays, and gamma rays. But that's only what we can measure. Are there even higher frequencies that we have not discovered yet? So one of the things that happens when you start to meditate is you start to expand your awareness into this other huge universe of electromagnetic frequencies. And we're just talking about electromagnetic frequencies. So, for example, you'll be able to enhance your vision, being able to perceive the rainbow spectrum even more clearly. Colors may appear more vivid to you, and you may be able to see things that other people can't see. Other spectrums of light, other spectrums of electromagnetic frequency. If you're someone who says, if I don't see it, then it can't be real, then aren't you someone who is limiting your perception and your awareness to just a tiny marble. Now let's talk about another way to use light and the rainbow spectrum to enhance meditation. So let's look at the rainbow spectrum. What colors are there? There's red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and indigo. So how do these colors affect your psyche? According to psychological studies, the colors that the eyes respond to the most are the color red and the color green. Why is the color red such a strong color for the mind? While well, you think about it, the color of blood is red. And so whenever you see blood, then your mind will automatically go into a awareness mode. Don't say caution. Something is important. And the color green is the color of life. All the leaves are green, the grass is green, many trees are green. So that's the color that symbolizes growth, symbolizes life. So why are the traffic lights red and green? Who decided that it was going to be red and green? Well that's because those two colors are the most visible to the human eye. So each of the colors is corresponding to a chakra. Now some people may say that it only confuses, but for me, it actually helps to visualize the colors in each chakra in your body. So we have our root chakra, which is red, then our sacral chakra, which is orange, then our solar plexus chakra, which is yellow, then our heart chakra, which is green, and our throat chakra, which is blue, and then our third eye chakra is purple, and then our crown chakra, which is white or ultraviolet. So when you start to understand colors and really think about it, you start to understand how those colors affect your mood, how those colors can affect you psychologically. And also, whenever you change your mind, it affects your mind, you affect your body also. So one exercise you can do is to learn how to breathe energy into each of your chakras. So one thing you can do if you want to get more energy is to breathe into your 
root chakra, which is your perina, and just imagine red energy breathing into there. So you can start breathing into it from the front. For example, I want to imagine energy coming in when I'm breathing in that part of my body and then go into your middle section, into your sacral chakra, and then hold it for a second and breathe out and just relax. And whenever you're, whenever you're going to do the breathing in, just imagine that you're breathing in red energy. Imagine red energy. And breathe out. So imagine the color red when you breathe in and breathe out. What might also help is you actually have um, a screen, you're looking at a computer, or you have a painting that is red, or you just have a piece of paper that's red in front of you. And actually look at the color so that you don't even have to imagine. You can look at the color and imagine the red energy going into your um, root chakra. And then breathe out. Just hold it for a second, breathe in. Now next, you can imagine orange energy going into your sacral chakra. So imagine a color orange. Breathe out. So whenever you're imagining it, I'm imagining, for me, I'm imagining um, air or strands of light that are orange. And whenever I'm breathing in, it's going into my sacral chakra. Like that, okay? And then next you can do your solar practice. Imagine the yellow energy. Then you can do three times. Then you can imagine doing your heart chakra is green energy. energy into your throat chakra and then imagine purple crown chakra is between your eyebrows so just imagine use your fingers to direct it purple energy Imagine white energy to your crown chakra. Okay, you can do that in the morning. And after doing that, I'm feeling myself hot already. I'm starting to sweat because you're starting to activate the chi throughout your whole body. So at nighttime, what's one thing you can do to relax and to calm down is to start from the top of your head and move and work your way down the chakras to the base chakra. So when you go up, it brings the energy up and makes you have more energy, more awareness, makes you awake. And then you want to calm down and relax. You want to go from top down to the bottom. So that's one way of using colors to enhance your meditation practice. Now you don't need to do it with colors. You can just do it with just breathing. And notice that I also combine emotion because it helps. Third thing I was going to talk about and another video is motion because I want to use the motion of my body to guide the mind. So you're combining many things there. we are combining the light, colors, breathing, motion of breath, and the motion of your body. So if you don't want to imagine colors, you can do the same thing with just breathing and just imagining white without any color. Or you can imagine any color you want. So you can experiment for yourself Start looking at a specific rainbow color and then meditate on it. Fill your mind with it and see how that affects your mood and see how that affects your body and your mind. So ask your questions in this comment section. If you have any input that's going to help people watching this video, then also add it into the comment section. Make sure you click the like button, share this with your friends, and subscribe to this channel. If you haven't subscribed already, click the subscribe button Click that bell so you get instant notification of all the new lessons that are coming out. And yes, we're giving away these free DVDs 
ancient Qigong secrets for mind and body, all you need to do to enter the contest is to subscribe to this channel, click the notification bell to get notifications of all the new lessons, and comment in the comment section and like this video and you'll be entered into the draw. Every week we're giving away a free DVD, so good luck.